Welcome everyone to the Community Television Board of Directors Organizational Meeting. This is November 15, 2012. And I would like to ask Allie to do the roll call, please. Keith Gutcher? Here. James Fisher? Absent. Tess Fitzgerald? Here. Denise Gallant? Absent. Joe Hall? Here. Jennifer Pittman? Here. Matilda Rand? Here. Dory Steinman? She is here. She's, she's here. Just I saw her. <laughs> Didn't, hasn't quite made it into the room yet. Uh, and Lou Tuasto? Tuasto, he's coming, right? I don't know. Adam Wade? Here. Great, thank you. And Karen Machado, not on this list, but she Oh, before. she was on it before, so uh, <laughs> we'll just put her back on. Karen Machado, okay. Address the board. All of our communications must be directed to item not on today's consent or regular agenda. Did you like it switched off? Difficulties to know. Yours is when it's all time. Yeah. Use Karen's. Use both. <laughs> Okay, next up on the issue of, I'd like to acknowledge that Dory Steinman is here, okay? I'm sorry. Okay. Next on the agenda is the consent agenda. Is there any discussion on the board about the consent agenda? And I just wanted to say that donations are already coming in and that we have an anonymous donor who is going to match up to $500, the first $500 if received by December 31st. Uh, anyone who knew David and how much he loved and supported community television might want to um, think about contributing to this scholarship fund. It goes directly, the money, all the money goes directly to classes for members who can't afford classes so bring those donations in Great. thank you thank you Kathy thank you is there any other uh, audience discussion of consent agenda I'll move the consent agenda I'll second. okay it's moved and seconded um, all those in favor Aye. 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 any opposed motion passes <clears throat> Let's move on to the regular agenda. The first item is election of officers. I make a motion to nominate Matilda for vice chair. Second. Vice chair. I'd like to make a motion to nominate Keith Gudger as chair. I can't hear I'll second that. And what about and I believe Joe would be great for a treasurer. Yeah, and just I want to, for obvious <laughs> purposes, I'll do this, but at some point we do have to rotate the treasurer position. So maybe when one of our new members comes on and they're familiar, they might want to do it. But I'll do it for another year. Great. Unless, Dory, do you want to switch back with her? No, thank you. That's not my thing. Finance okay. is not my okay. thing. She, she brought cold water, not, it's, not yeah, okay. it's not a cup of tea. It's not a cup of tea. Okay, well, I'll do, I'll do it another year. Thank you, Jim. Good. And I have a second that. <coughs> Great. And what about uh, nominate James as secretary? I'll nominate James as secretary. I don't, can we nominate people that aren't here? <laughs> James uh, approved it. Oh, great. Being secretary again. Great. So somebody needs to second that. I'll second it. Okay. So I've probably done this all wrong and that I've had all these motions and seconds. <laughs> well, we can do it as a slate. I don't see why. Um, unless. Is there a problem with anyone? Uh, should we vote on them individually? Should we? You could propose just the slate and vote on it at once. Okay. That would make my job easier. Okay. <laughs> so if there's no, uh, is there any discussion from the audience? Any discussion from the board? It's been seconded. So let's just take a vote for the slate of officers as proposed. 
All those in favor? Aye. 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 Opposed? Okay. Thank you. <laughs> okay, the, the next item is appointments to committees. Um, I've asked the board to let me know which committees they'd like to be on. Um, if we could do this quickly, that would be great. I have a list here of who has been on committees and who will be on committees. And I would like to recognize briefly that Lou Tuasso has just joined us and that as part of the consent agenda, we recognize that the city of Watsonville appointed him to be on our board. Welcome and thank you for joining us. So for the Finance Committee, uh, of course, Joe Hall is on the committee. I'm on the committee. Um, we previously had Tess, Karen, and Jennifer on the committee. Um, is that fine? Mm -hmm. we, we keep those three? Great. Uh, that's five of us. I believe one more would be a um, quorum, so I would like to keep it at that if that's not a problem. Yes. And I should, I'm sorry that I didn't email you uh, back about it. Is I think Karen was on all of those committees because she was the chair. So don't feel obligated to be on every single committee again. <laughs> I, I okay. think Karen got that. <laughs> I figured, yeah. All right. I'm happy to fill in gaps. Lou, would you like to be on the finance committee? I would have I've, Actually, I've served on some finance committees and, and I enjoyed it. So I, I would be delighted to be on the finance Good. committee. I, I'd be happy yes. to be okay. in a year, you can be <laughs> You conveniently missed that one. <laughs> they just did that. So for the governor's committee, I had Adam, Joe, James, and Karen. And Karen, I guess, again, because you were chair. Yeah. Um, so Adam, is that OK with you? Um, Joe? Uh, and James, we'll have to check with James. And I will fill the, the spot for that Karen had. For the personnel committee, uh, again, you were the chair of that mm -hmm. committee as chair. Did you want to remain on the personnel committee? Yeah. Great. Sure. And Dory, did you want to remain also? But you can be chair of the committee. Okay. <laughs> so for the rules committee, I had Tess, Karen, and Denise. Is that fine with you, Tess? Rules? Sure. Great. I'd, I'd like to step off that one if anybody else would like to take yeah, actually, my Actually, I would too. <clears throat> Okay, so we have one person on the rules committee. Sweet. I don't, I yes. don't know that it's, <laughs> I don't know that it's going to me. Matilda, thank you. Thank you. Got to step up, right? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. As vice chair now. Okay. Um, I'll twist some arms afterwards about that one. Um, the audit committee. Now, of course, Joe is on that, and. I was on that, and you were on it, Karen. Did, I was you, on it. did you like to stay on that committee? Um, again, I'll fill in the gap, but if no one else wants to do it, I, if someone else does, I'd be happy to would you, step aside. Would you be you interested in the audit yeah. committee? Can you tell me a little about the committee? It meets once to go over the audit, essentially. Maybe it may meet, is that right, Joe? It may meet more than once. No, twice. twice. Twice, sorry. Twice a year. It meets once as the preliminary uh, intake visit by the auditors, and then there's an exit. Uh, visit by the auditors where they go over all the findings of the uh, audit. Sure, I'll do it. I mean, that would be a good way to start looking at it in yeah. terms of that. Yeah. That, that yeah. capability would be great to have somebody. Yeah. Okay, we had a technology task force. Um, Denise and Adam were on that. Okay. Great. By the way, the audit's already done, so we have almost a year. <laughs> That's yeah, fine. That's I'm definitely on them. <laughs> <laughs> you guys have so much paperwork. None of you are talking into your microphones. They're not on. Okay. You're going to have to pull the microphone up closer to you, Joe. Okay, so next was the marketing task force. Uh, Jennifer and James. Jennifer, are you willing to stay on? You were leading that committee. Great. I will stay on it. You can leave. Um, Lou, you had mentioned that you had an interest in being on the marketing task force, but since we signed you up for other committees, do you still have an interest in that? I have one? a big interest in, in marketing, yes. Okay, great. And I will speak to James uh, offline about that one. Uh, we had a programming committee, which I don't think it has ever met this year, and that was Denise and Adam, so. And Dory? And I had no idea what was on that. Yeah. <laughs> oh, programming? Oh. Did we volunteer you when you're well, asking? Yeah, even, even, even. According to this book, Dory and Karen were also on those. Okay. 
Yeah, I'd like to be on that. Okay, great. Yeah, I, don't okay. Need, I don't remember ever Sorry. being on that one. I don't think it meets. I don't think I've ever met. Okay. Um, the Fund Development Committee is one that I had asked, Lou, if you had an interest in being on. Uh, we're, we're signing you up for a lot, so I don't know if you're still interested in being on that committee. It, did, can you give me a little bit more detail about that to make sure that I've got some, uh, not just interest, but some kind of experience uh, or I bring something to the table that I can offer? I'm not sure I do. Okay. What I would like this Fund Development Committee to do in the next six months is to put together a relatively, let's just say medium term plan in terms of fund development, which includes uh, fundraising, grant writing, and all the other, any other area that we can develop funds. So it's, I think it's a very important committee to this board, and it's important that it meet soon. So um, I'm encouraging anyone who will be on it to please be on it. I've got a, a, some longer term goals for fundraising, but I'm not sure that they would fill, uh, fill the bill for the short term. I'm not sure if that's what you're looking for necessarily. I have something that will come into play probably within a, a year or so. I have thought it through, but it, it's again, it's more long, longer term than what, maybe what you're looking for. I, I say medium term is one to five years. So I'm looking for anything but in less than five years. From okay, now, let's, so. let's do it. Great, thank you. Um, James was on that. I'll speak to him later. Karen, you were on that? Um, Maybe yeah, you can leave me. Great. And Denise, you were on that. Oh. Uh, okay. I was going from the old. Um. <laughs> okay. And then the ad hoc committee. The ad hoc committee is more or less uh, in place. Mm -hmm. I and I have you on here in my list. That's fine. So that's the appointments to the committees. Is there any discussion from the board or from the audience on the committees? Okay, next we have the calendar to approve, which is in the packet. It's also in the board packet. And yes. Is this the time when we would ask for uh, either staff or the public who are interested in any of those areas to come in? Let you know that they want to be participating in that kind of in the fundraising efforts or in the PR efforts. Or yes, that would be great. So maybe after after the meeting, or people who are interested in that kind of participation can let Keith know or let the respective chairs know that we could use your help. In particular, fund development, marketing, fund development, marketing, programming, and maybe it'd be great to have uh, lots of opinions. Okay. Energy. Chair? Yes. I think we skipped the appeals committee. We did. <laughs> and I skipped that because our membership has changed. And while it's possible that people might still have appeals, and I'm happy to go ahead and I have it on my list. So I'm. I just wasn't sure if that was an inadvertent or not. Right. And I'm not sure we need to look at the, the bylaws and, and this decide whether we have an appeals committee in the same way as we have had in the past. Okay. Yeah, so. Thank you. Just to clarify, um, who was the chair? The Fund Development Committee. Did you assign a chair? Isaac from Watsonville, which is one reason I asked Lou since he's uh, representing Watsonville. He's going to be the chair of the, Isaac is going to be the chair of the fund? No, no, he is no longer on the board. Oh, right. He was the chair of the committee. Sorry. Who is, so are you assigning a chair currently? I haven't assigned a chair. I thought we could meet and okay. choose it then if that's all right. Okay. So we have a board meeting calendar. It's in, the, it's in your main packet and it's also in this packet. Is there any discussion of the board calendar? I have a question for Ali. Um, this, the November meeting this time does not have a finance committee associated with it, and I noticed that next oh. year's does. Yeah, I think I just put that on there. But I don't. It doesn't have to be on there okay. because it's yeah, it's usually not on the organizational meeting. Yeah. Okay. I mean, it's supposed to meet four times a year, so we can cross that off. 
and they do meet four times a year mm -hmm. other than that. Okay. I think you remember I asked because I was curious too. Was right. And that's why I noticed. Yeah. Thank you, Joe. So with the um, striking the Finance Committee as part of the November 14th meeting, is there any other issues with the calendar for the coming year? Yes, Joe. You know, the only other thing, and we bring it up and we don't do anything and there are reasons why, but if there is any chance this year to have one meeting in the South County, I think it would be a good idea. And okay. We'll visit that again. Yeah, so, but I don't want to bring up a whole big discussion of it. I just thought it's something that we talk about and we never do, and I think having it there is probably almost more important. We can play a tape later. Right. And, uh, but that's just a thought to throw out on the table to think about when you're planning these meetings out in locations. Okay. <clears throat> and and this is not a, um, a requ this is a, just a request, Lou. Since you are the Watsonville rep, if that does show up as an opportunity to meet there, yes, that would be great. I, I could um, probably call Carlos and see if we can uh, make that opportunity happen. I'd like to see as much exposure as we can so that we can get a, a following of uh, what's going on with the city council and that they just feel a little bit more connected. And I think in general. Uh, South County feels a little uh, more disjunct than other parts of the community and all kinds of other uh, arenas. So if we can include them, that, that would probably be a, a step in the right direction. Great. So. Thank you. And you would actually contact the city clerk, and there are fees associated with renting the room, just so you know. Okay. Because I do business with them as well. Okay. Thank you. <clears throat> Maybe they'll incentivize to come. Okay. If, is there any other questions about the calendar? Can we have a motion to approve it? We have one question. As yes. far as the, um, our bullathon and our, that kind of fundraiser, do we want to put discussion of that just on the January calendar? I mean, or is that just is that too detailed? We, yeah, I think we can discuss agenda items. On item 13 on this agenda is for the minutes. For specific items to appear on the next regular agenda. Okay. Anyone want to move that we approve this? I move that we approve the board meeting calendar for 2013. A second. It's moved and seconded. No discussion. Uh, all those in favor? Aye. 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 Opposed? Great. Thank you. All right. The next discussion is regarding the bylaws which were included in the packet as reviewed by our attorney, Morgan Taylor. Um, are there any discussion here in the board about the, the bylaws and the changes that Morgan made? Um, yes. So on page, beside it, there are a couple of um, grammatical changes, but I don't think I have to go over those today, right? There is one that I have a question about on page 10 of the board package, B of the bylaws. It says, appointments to the board shall be made at least one month, but not more than four months prior to each November board meeting. And so I had a question about that. How, if the board is making the appointments, how can the board make appointments one to four months prior to its November organizational board meeting? I, I'm just curious on how that would work. In general, the board appointments will come through the governance committee. Mm -hmm. And technically, they should be one to four months before this meeting. In June. <clears throat> and then get approved like today Correct. at the consent agenda. Okay. Well, that's, I mean, it's important for, for people out there to know how that works. Right. Okay. And, and to whom do I give the um, grammatical or typos? You can, you can send them to me and I'll uh, make sure they get made, okay. changes get made. Hopefully we've had time to review this before.
No, yeah, I did. No, no, oh, sorry. No, that's okay. That's the teacher in me, right, Adam? <laughs> we do those things when we have time. Is there any discussion from the audience? Yes. Hello, uh, Ron Holman. I forgot to go over this, but on section 5.02, all members must be at least 18 years of age and in good standing of CTV. I don't understand the good standing. We don't have any way to measure that anymore, correct? So I think, I, I thought we were eliminating that, but somehow it's still in there, so thank you. Thank you, Ron. I, I think um, to answer that question, um, it references if somebody is uh, has been removed or is in suspension on their membership. I think that's really all that's referencing. It's I, I, I think that's why we left it in. But but uh, Mr. Holman makes a good point. It's not about members anymore. So it's I mean it's that's it does specifically talk about members. I, I kind of took it to apply to the payment. It could be suspended for non-payment. It could be suspended for misuse of equipment. It could be suspended for um, um, utilization of equipment uh, inappropriately. That's what kinds of suspensions we have. Uh, we don't have very many of them. Yeah, that would work, except we've struck item B in section 5.07, which says you don't have to be a member in this standing. So they kind of, I can see where they kind of like, Did you have something on? Oh, I just don't know if this is the same section that um, was made a motion on last meeting where Dory made the motion to have it just be, um, they had to be 18, period. Mm -hmm. Wasn't this the same section? So the good it's standing. The same section. Yeah, so the good standing thing was struck last meeting. Yeah. I, I believe that's correct. I think we it did was, put yeah. a period after it. So I don't know how yeah. it got back in here, but as you know, when working with these things, they have a life of their own. <laughs> uh, we can strike that at age. Uh, 18 years of age, period, yeah, yeah, and that, that would, yeah. if, that, if that's acceptable, then we could. Because uh... yeah, it conflicts with that. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Thank that. you. And there are no other qualifications. I mean, any other legal qualifications, police record, <laughs> any of those things. Uh, not that I intend to do anything, I, believe I think, me. I think the reason, if I'm remembering from the last meeting, that we didn't go into detail about that is because we decided that as a board now, since we really had the, the opportunity to restrict candidates at will, I think that's why we didn't go on about that, because otherwise that could become a very long section. No, I just want to. Yeah, I think that's, that's why we did Actually, it does give the board the opportunity to vet their candidates, so it, it's... I don't think there were need for any other restriction. Okay. It belongs in the, in the realm of policy for selecting board members, I would say, which this board will set its own policy for selecting board members, correct? Okay. So this is the second reading of these bylaws, and I think that uh, it's appropriate for us to approve them at this point if we, someone wants to make a motion to that effect or, or not, we can choose. Can I make a motion to approve them with the grammatical changes that may occur are still underway? We have a motion. Do we have a second? Second. And uh, discussing it, I kind of, you know, these things seem very routine, but to get to this point was a phenomenal amount of work. Mm -hmm. So I kind of want to yeah. just... Thank everybody who worked on the election, the members who trusted the board to do this. So I just, a short comment, but sometimes these things whiz by and you forget what you did to get there. Thank you, Joe. Okay. So we have a motion and a second. Um, all those in favor? Aye. 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 Opposed? Motion carries. Do you want to recognize change? James is here now. Thank you, James. Sorry about that. So next on the agenda is a report from Lynn on the CMAP negotiations. Thank you. Uh, we've been doing um, a lot of work with CMAP. Um, we continue, I continue to meet with Kathy Bisbee on a regular basis. Um, we had our first board of directors ad hoc committee meeting um, this last week, November 9th. 
Um, it was a lengthy and productive meeting. We have another one scheduled for December 6th at Watsonville Community Hospital. Um, and I believe that their board is actively engaged. We've already gotten some feedback from their board. Um, I will continue to meet with um, Kathy Bisbee and her staff um, and with our staff. Um, we are in the final phases of putting together the MOU. Um, I want uh, legal counsel and I'm going to meet with our attorney on Monday to go over the MOU to make sure that it has the legal and technical terms that we need to have to make sure it's a binding MOU. In addition to that, I'm working with uh, the attorney on a contract with CMAP. Um, as we've talked about before, this will have to come back to the board uh, and we'll probably have to set a special meeting, but the contract is not finished yet and I want to have legal counsel on that before I bring it back to the board. Um, so those are the things we're doing. Um, we've also been, I've also been meeting with the uh, county staff um, and I feel like we're going the right direction, the right way, and I believe that we'll be prepared for January to give them a plan that they'll be satisfied with. Yes, sir. Uh, just comment a minute about the uh, Board of Supervisors meeting. And uh, we had a very good turnout of our board. Yeah, we had a virtual quorum there. Yeah. <laughs> there were seven, we there were the, seven of us there. We yes. were the whole audience, yeah. basically. Yeah. But I thought that was good, and I think it showed that we were engaged in trying to look mm -hmm. at what the solutions are in the future. Care to <clears throat> make any comments, Len? Do you have any questions or anything in regards to those items? I mean, we could probably recap what the Board of Supervisors meeting was about for people who maybe are watching that don't know. Sure. Would you like me to do that? <laughs> Would you please? Like I've relived it a number of times since then. <laughs> um, Thank you. Basically, we, we were there. At, we had originally asked the board to consider a contract with um, with us um, for the uh, ensuing four years, three plus actually. Uh, meanwhile, uh, the county staff came back recommending that we put it over to a, a later date, um, and we specifically asked that it not go to an RFP. Uh, the board had uh, some, still some questions about the contract, so we relied on the county staff's recommendation and asked that it be put over till January. It gave us more time to really put together a plan with CMAP. Um, the, the board still had some concerns and expressed those. Um, the, the vote actually was to continue the matter till January with a caveat that RFP was still on the horizon. Uh, and I believe that's what Tess could tell you for sure, but that's, I believe, what the board voted on. And we'll be back in January uh, doing two things. One, letting the board know that we have a plan. Two, that we have a plan that includes CMAP and the way in which we're going to move forward with an MOU. And then would be asking the board to consider, at that time, a continuing contract with CTV. And uh, it's our hope to avoid uh, an RFP. Thank you. Uh, RFP is request for proposal. Somebody asked me that the other day. I, it's a vernacular. It's often used, but not everybody knows it. But it's request for proposal. Thank you. So I think we have a comment from the audience. Yeah, I'd like to uh, speak to what Joe was mentioning with the level of engagement. I'd like you to look around. There are 11 seated board members, and they're all here tonight. This is wonderful. This is a, a really good level of engagement that I'm, I'm happy because, you know, this is traditionally the annual meeting of the members who are no longer uh, here. So I'm, I'm glad to see the board taking over, and uh, I'm, I've been impressed with everything that's been happening with Lynn and the negotiations, all of that stuff. I think we're on a really good track, so thank you. Yeah, thanks, Ron. Thank you, Ron. <laughs> okay. So I don't believe there's any action required on this report. No. The next item is the oral report from chair or other board members. And I'm ask if any board members have any reports they want to make. Okay. I think we've covered everything I would report on already. Um, so we're on 13 staff requests and board member requests for special items to appear on the next regular meeting agenda. And I believe Jen Jennifer asked that we put spring fundraiser on there. Yeah, we should probably put the fundraiser. We should probably put the retreat also. Uh, yes. We'll get going on that, so we're all 
Any other requests? Yeah. yeah. Yes, Dory. Um, yeah, I was talking with, um, what's his name? Gentleman earlier about doing a closed, um, uh, what do you call it for the, the deaf? Um, closed caption. Closed caption, yeah. I'm sorry. Um, and there's some people that are interested in doing this. Mm. So could we put that on the next? Uh, okay. Are we talking about for just any programming that we can Well, just, just uh, do we have the capability? <laughs> and if not, what would it entail and that kind of thing? Maybe, maybe it's not at the point to bring up with the board, though. Uh, he was interested in pursuing it. I had spoken to him earlier this evening. Writing for the board to take a look at it's okay. a, it's um, it's a huge project, um, but I That's certainly would I like wondered. to bring it to the board. But I'd like to bring it to the board, and we have more information. He has apparently more information, so I had asked him okay. to put it in a letter to the board for our next meeting, so the board could take a look at the uh, suggestions he might have around closed captioning. Okay. So put it on for the next agenda. Then. Because this video that I'm doing, I'm doing it's it's going to be a sing-along video, and I have the songs on there, and I was told I should do uh, two versions of it on the DVD that I'm going to make, one just to, for the kids to just see it through, it's a half an hour, and then they could go to the one with the, the words on there. So, but I don't know how to do that. You would probably that, yeah. know. Well, that's what I was thinking. Would that be something for the technical committee? Right. That's what I was going to suggest. Yeah. Are you on that? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. All right. <laughs> so if we get the information from and, and the form okay. from this individual, then I would like the technology task force to review it before it comes to the board, if possible. So that that's fine. And I asked him to mail it to me. I'll make sure the uh, right. technology group gets that. So our you. committee gets that. Okay. That's why I was late for the meeting. He was talking to me out there. <laughs> okay. Hey, are there tests? Yes, tests. Um, I just wanted to say, I'm trying to see if my comments appropriately on the, uh, if I'm in the right spot, but I'll just go ahead and go say, ahead and take it. great job on the election coverage. That was awesome. It yeah. was a lot of fun to tune in and watch all of that, and all the staff did a great job, mm -hmm. great panelists, and um, you just didn't have that level of, um, I don't know, I don't know the word for it localism, I don't know, but it was really quite uh, fun to watch, and um, thanks for the shout out. <laughs> <laughs> Great. Okay. Are there any other um, items for the uh, January agenda? No? Okay. We're ready January. to um, adjourn to closed session, but before I did, since we probably won't have crew when we come back, I would like to thank the crew briefly that has helped us, yes. <laughs> uh, Ryan Mulligan and Veta Navarro, David Jay, David Goldman, Karen Scott, Dan Wu, and Jocelyn McMahon. Thank you for helping with this. Thank you. Absolutely. So it's uh, 6.05, officially I guess we're, we had scheduled a closed session at 6.30, but what do we say? Um, we take a short break and at 6.10 or so come right back sure. for this? Well, I would like a chance for everyone to oh, yeah. do whatever they have to do. Turn off our mics. Thank you. Thank you. You can stay here.